to go the four time and reigning U.S. champions Naomi Lang and Peter Chernyshev. What started as a very unusual pairing of two skaters from very different backgrounds has grown each year into one of the most powerful teams the U.S. has ever seen. He wrote me a letter saying he saw me skate and asked me for a tryout. I was a junior skater. I was very young. For me, it was really easy. She was really balancing. The rest is history. history. <laughs> Naomi Lang and Peter Chernyshev have been partners for seven years. She's now 24, he's 31. They are four-time U.S. national ice dance champions. They share a love of ballet, which gives them a lyrical, romantic style, but they bring two very different tales to the ice. Peter grew up in the Soviet system in St. Petersburg, Russia, and is following in the footsteps of another Peter Chernyshev. My grandfather actually introduced me to figure skating. He was a great figure skater himself. He was four times uh, Russian national champion. I remember we spent lots of time just uh, at the outdoors rinks, just like me skating around, you know, just having great time in the winter. Naomi Lang grew up in California and Michigan. She has another name, Mahitahan, which means morning star in Karuk. Native American, I'm very proud of it comes from my father's side. I remember as a little girl going to the powwows and uh, dancing around when they were singing, playing the drums, and it's, it's a vivid memory. Although Naomi's parents are divorced, her mother and biggest fan, Leslie Dixon, has always encouraged her to maintain her heritage. As Naomi continues to excel, she has become a source of pride to her Karuk tribe, who chronicled her trip to the World Championships in Vancouver in 2001. Naomi and Peter train in Connecticut and are coached by Russian choreographer Nikolai Morozov. Both their families have made sacrifices to allow their children to pursue their goals. It was very tough growing up. Um, I was, my mom was a single mom and she was working so many hours to try and pay for my skating and just try to get me through as a junior skater. Now that I've accomplished something in my career, I can give back to all the other little kids who are up and coming. I love living in New York, but I still miss Russia a lot because my parents live still there. Peter left his homeland, Russia, 10 years ago after the Soviet system fell apart. His parents knew there was more opportunity in America to further his career. Still, it was not easy for them to see him go. Yeah, we we were concerned. We didn't think that he would leave the country forever. We miss him very much. I talk to them every day on the phone and we communicate with them over the internet and we discuss all the smallest details of my life here and their life there. But over the course of the last years, I think the feeling of being an American grew in me. I remember four continents and they were playing national anthem and raising the American flag was really emotional for me. I became American citizen on January 29th of the year 2001. It's really a great day in my life. This American team has blended their cultures and their backgrounds into a comfortable relationship. And uh, miracle that we even met in first place in this land of opportunity. It makes you believe that dreams do come true. Yeah. It's been a rewarding road for Lang and Chernyshev, but not an easy one, especially as of late. The cyst on Naomi Lang's Achilles tendon, and she'll have to have surgery, as Peter Carruthers reported earlier. But here they are, able to skate at the national championships, looking for their fifth title in a row.
a magical quality about them. They're able to make things that are so difficult look so easy. They have an airy quality about their transitions, how they hold on to one another. been away for so long I almost forgot what he looked like and then I realized it's because he's got blonde hair now <laughs> they have been surprisingly calm when I spoke with him after one of the practices I think with this injury, they realize how much they miss skating, and so they're giving it their all, but they're not taking it for granted. Difficult footwork, they're using all different edges, different turns, some of the unison, not quite on the mark like I'm used to seeing. But the difficulty is certainly there. They make these lifts look so seamless, beautiful exit out of their final dance lift. Very solid. That is so hard after just five weeks to keep up the quality, to keep up that, that national title pressure. Well, they told us they seem more focused because they've had to focus mm -hmm. in so much on those five weeks getting ready for this one event. And uh, it certainly looked like <laughs> a big smile on Naomi's face. Lang and Chernyshev, the four-time gold medalist. The quality in their skating is apparent in every move. Her back so straight, their positions are so refined. She's in an attitude position. His feet are very close and tight on this dance lift. Fine technique indeed. In this Chevy Stro motion, what's interesting is you can see the lack of unison between Peter Chernichev and Naomi Lang. His body is advanced ahead of hers on these twizzle turns, turns on one foot, and it's things like this that you don't notice when the skater is skating full out with speed. When you break it down, it's those little things that make the difference between winning a gold medal and not. Their flow into this dance lift, exceptional. I just love her posture. She's always right in position at the right time. There's no sort of getting into the position. They're both just right on the mark. I've seen a lot of five flowers five in the four, kiss and cry five, area, but five, none seven, like that before. Five, right? seven, <laughs> now, they've received six 6.0s six at the U.S. Nationals during their careers. Not sure if they'll get one here, but competition marks 5.4 to 5.7. Some of these marks are a bit lower than what we're accustomed to seeing from them, and I think that is the judges are sensing that that conservative performance. Mm -hmm. Presentation marks now 5.5 all the way up to 5.9. No perfect six, but no doubt. Lang and Chernyshev have the lead right now. When we come back...